Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Defend the Roof. So, there's been, you know, a small update, and I, I expect that to be happening quite a lot, but I think it was version 1.07, or maybe even 6, the last time around we played here. Uh, it's only been a day, but, you know, developers are actually doing a, a pretty good job with box fixes and, uh, you know, just a couple of small changes here and there, like the blurry images on the outskirts of the picture when we are playing is uh, made more high resolution now and stuff like that. So just uh, just so you know that it, it seems like the game is definitely, um, it's getting improved by the developers. It, it, it's not forgotten, that's that's for sure. They still develop on it and, that, and that's nice to see on any indie games because that's not always happening, I would say. Uh, at least they're not uh, in this, uh, how fast they're doing it right now. So we are getting into the uh, mushroom glades. Interesting. Let's click in and see what we got here. We got fungal rook, strength, a hazardous, a hazardous, what? A hazardous. How do you say that? I know what it means, but a hazardous, a hazardous, whatever. <laughs> Great. Ecosystem that will explode upon death to take out any invaders of the glade. Okay, so we got like a suicide kind of situation here with the uh, explosions. Um, uh, mindless fungi are prone to damaging each other. Oh, that's interesting. So maybe we can do some kind of tactic where we get them to like get close to each other and kill each other, kind of. Um, the queen urges the glade is a threat to the kingdom. She tells of a creeping spread that cannot speak nor reason. It will lead to yet another ongoing war. Okay. Force back the creeping spread, which will infect the queen's land, Magister. Good. Let's do some up shops. Uh, some up shops. <laughs> some level ups. Some 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 upgrades. <laughs> what what the hell is going on today? Uh, per perseverance. So how much do we have? We have 112. So we got we can we can do two. We can do two of those. Okay. Plus one move for the warrior, or heal two health each wave. Probably one move, I would say. Um, if we take it. Pilfer. Whenever you kill an enemy, gain plus two gold. Does not work on summoned units. I don't know about that. Plus two armor, probably a little bit better. Uh, magic penetration. Your attacks ignore armor. I'm not sure about that. Gain plus temporary range after you move. I think giving her what more, even more range makes sense. Because then she can just reach... I mean, she's just going to be uh, insanely ranged. She already have... I don't remember. It's at two, two, five... She can shoot up to five tiles. If we give her this, it's gonna be what, two to six or three to six? I don't, I don't know. But definitely, um, I, I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna take that one for thirty. And we could, we could even go further. Range at the start of each turn. If there are no contraptions or heroes in a three tile radius, gain six temporary power. Wow. No, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that uh, because we we were going in a, in another direction where we actually wanted her to be close to the rogue or the warrior to get the buffs. So I'm not sure about that. Plus two means he. I mean, let's see what the next one is down here. Increased damage radius by one. So he's gonna what? Hits tiles in a cross around the initial target. So he can like do splash damage. That's interesting. When attacked, the attacker takes three damage. Okay, I mean, that's not bad. Free armor. I I kind of want this. Then again, he doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but you know what? Making him a bit more buff and then doing more damage, that's not a bad way to go. Especially with, the, I think this fungus is probably where they're going to be summoning. They're going to summon a lot of fungus. I think a lot of fungus will be summoned. So you know what? I'm going to go down that road. Yeah, I'm going to go down that road. Oh, no, we don't have em enough. But we do have enough for the... Okay, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> I forgot that we didn't have enough for... I could have taken this, but now we're going to go with one for each of them, I guess. One one upgrade for each. Heal two or one move. I think the one move is better. I, I actually do. Okay, cool. And the shop. Well, we got some decent barrels and I definitely like the barrels. The barricade gains plus one move. I have, you know, not the greatest. Uh, traps. I, I kind of like the traps, to be honest. But I don't really... What When a trap triggers, allies gain plus three temporary armor. Hmm. Yeah, see, that only works until the end of the round. So uh, it's not really that great. Plus one target in range. That's the cannon tower. You know what? That's not bad. Especially in, Maybe especially against these units we're coming up against. But it only got 10 health, so there's a good chance it's going to die anyway. Maybe we should just upgrade this. 
How much do we have? 95. Uh, prevent it and destroy the Emerald Tower. See, I don't like that either, but it's probably... You know what? If we do that, if we do that, oh, we need to take this one first and then this one. See, we do this, we are not going to upgrade it even uh, further. We're just going to use it as a suicide tower, basically, if one of our, if our, one of our um, uh, main characters die. So in that case, I think something like the... Um, not the Rook. Actually, the Rook is not bad, but... Uh, heals one after each wave, plus three gold. Okay, so it's like, yeah. If it if it had some more damage, I would have taken this, but that's not the case. I think the arcane tower with medium range and medium damage might be good. Getting more health on it, it's not the best. Plus two power each wave. Okay, I mean, can we get that? Can we get all the way down there? I think we actually can. I, I I'm thinking about making the arcane tower really powerful here. Uh, no, we can't get it all. Okay, then then just hold on for a second here. Well, no matter what I do here, I can get another really good one, two, three. Actually, I can. Unless this also cost. I think this also cost. So it's one, two, three, four. So yeah, I, I can't. I don't have the money for it. So in that case, just get further down here. Yeah, don't have the money. It would be nice to get it. Oh, do, do I have it? No. Oh, do I? Is it unlocked? No. I don't know. No, no, it's not green. No, it's not green here. So no, next time we will unlock that for sure. That's a, that's a very good, you know, little thing. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna do quite a lot of damage in the long haul. Probably what fifteen or something in the last fight. You know, that's that's pretty decent. Or in the last wave, I mean. So yeah, let's um, let's get back and into the battle here. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. So the blurry part should be gone. Yeah, it is. It is. What is this? Why are the mushroom kin leaving their caverns and racing arms? Hmm, that's a good question. The mausoleum spreads all across these lands. They all they, they can sense it going better than uh, anyone else. Disgusting. Uh, okay. Knows the way they'd respond to us. Have they truly turned hostile to civilization? Well, didn't, didn't they say that it, they were mindless creatures? But whatever. Uh, like pulling weeds, Magister. We must do what we can for the garden to thrive. Okay, makes sense. These aren't weeds, your grace. In saying that, the glade cannot be left to threaten the people. Be left to threaten the people. Hmm. Do they even have necks? <laughs> oh, 520 units. Okay, but they are pretty mindless. Let's see what they actually do here. They, Yonkin, upon death, explode for five damage to adjusting units. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, the bar barricades are going to be very important. But I guess they're just going to move like a normal unit and yeah, but but don't have any specific targets in mind. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure how to deal with this. I think spreading out is probably our best, our best bet. Range, like if we take a tower here and a tower over here. And may, I don't want to target. I don't, I don't want to tower up here because it would just instantly die to all of them. So, I guess um, it would make sense to have one of our. Um, I think the arcane. No, not the arcane. This one, the short range. Having it down here because when there are someone, someone down here, it, it will handle it. And if not, we can use this down here as our, um, you know, operation. Basically, this is where the rogue is going to go down to this area here. And also probably the the warrior and the rogue. And then we can hopefully... I'm probably going to build uh, a tower here as well. A long range tower here. Or medium tower maybe. I think that the long range could be over here on its own. It doesn't have a lot of health. That's my worry. I should have done it the other way around. I should have done it the other way around. In that case, I think I'm going to build it over here. And have the medium tower in front of it. Yeah, go ahead. And have the arcane tower in front of it. It also got 25 health, so that's pretty good. So we're going to use this over here as... So we're going to use... Can, can he attack from here? No, he needs to move. You know what? Move one over and then do four damage. I'm okay with that, I think. I think I'm okay with that. Did we actually get anything new here? No, we did. I don't think we get anything new before we are completely done with this whole run. So, um, yeah. Let's just move over here and do the damage to this guy. I'm okay with that. And I guess the cannon is also going to hit one of those. Um, I'm not sure if I, I want to, you know, go up and hit it because then I'm right next to these two, but they don't die instantly. So they're just going to do damage to my knight, these two. Which is okay by me. 
I just don't want my knight to stand here when they die. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's, um, how much time? Six, four. So it's not going to kill it, which means I'll rather want to hit this one. So that's down to 10, so we can hit it again next turn with someone. He, yeah. I mean, I don't like the knight being up here, but he does. Have, we might as well use his armor. And I don't, th I, th I don't think I want to um, move the... I don't, I don't know if I want to move him up here. I mean, he can take the damage and then just get out again. But we need to be careful about when we destroy them because they do do damage to us. And I kind of didn't... I, I wanted them to get closer to me down here. So this tower would actually have some kind of effect. I should have built it right here, but whatever. Um, so I'm, I'm like... Maybe I should just move in this direction with the rogue and not do any damage this turn with him. And just let them get closer to my tower. Like move him down here or something. Actually, just move him here, I think. Wait there. I know it looks a little bit odd, but I mean, it, it is hopefully for the best. I don't want to do that. I'll just hit the furthest unit away here. No, that means I need to move. Just hit that dude. How far did they move? Three. One, two, three. Yeah, he, they don't know where I'm kneeing my tower here. So that's fine. Um, That's about it. That's about it for now. I could use some traps and stuff, but you know what? Maybe a trap down here would be really good. A trap right here would be probably very, very... Or maybe here. And then use the rogue to um, to arm it again. I feel like that's a very good idea. Oh, it doesn't hit there. Oh, I should have checked that. Can we remove it? Right click on it to remove it. Will I get it again? I do. Okay. Good. I want it here instead then. Because that is inside the range of this unit, so uh, inside this tower, so he will do the 10 damage. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, it, they won't reach it this round, but they will more than likely reach it the, ne the round after that. Um, so my rogue and the tower is kind of the bait for these guys. Without killing anyone, without, take, without us taking damage. So that's also pretty good. Uh, do we want to do anything else here? I don't think so. We're just going to allow them to do 2 damage to my... That's a bit annoying, but you know... What can you do? I mean, I could barrel it. That's interesting. That's moving them around and closer to my towers. I kind of like that. It's, it's also in range of all of these, no matter what, who else is going to come out in the future. So this would definitely be a pretty good barrel and taunt them right away. It gives me a lot of options. You know what? I'll take a barrel already and also give him more armor. So maybe not a bad idea. Okay, in turn. Okay, no, he can... They, th this guy couldn't move, so he hit us. That's okay. And the other one, yeah, moving up into a line there. That's pretty good. And we can we can kill this unit now, and he's going to do damage to this unit. And this unit, we can just move... We can just we can just get out of the way here. So we won't take any... Actually, we can, we can also just kill him, but I'd rather have my armor with me. So if I just move down here, or near my rook maybe, on this side. Yeah. I think moving here would be the best option. Wait here. You could kill this dude or you could kill this dude. I think killing this dude is more... is better right now. Because it will do damage to him. You see? It actually... When, when we hold over here, you can see the, da the the health of him is also going down. And that actually means that we could kill him by... Yeah, I don't know if this... No, nah, it doesn't have the range, but... Let's do that. This one, you can hit him from here. Okay, do that. And I think, nah, we won't kill him. We won't kill him next turn, this dude, but we can then kill him with someone. So it, it should be fine. I think we're good because he's going to go into the trap. And uh, yeah, then he's going to die to my tower anyway. So that's good. Uh, we have move, uh, you know what? Move over here just to be the bait. Yeah, wait here. End turn. Oh, you absolute bastard. See, that's that's where the game is like a little bit... How how do I know that he would not go... I mean, the logical thing is going towards my tower and the rogue here from... But yeah, I guess... Okay, fair enough. So we need to move her out of the way and then kill it. I mean, that's also okay, but it's... Yeah, you know. Good night. So, what do we get? Stomp. After the warrior attacks, a distant enemy takes 6 damage. That's that that could be very good actually. That could be very good. Heavy blade, minus one move, eight power. Wow, that's a lot of power. 
uh, speed transfer. When a mid-tier spell is cast, again, I don't know what mid-tier means, but yeah, uh, the sorcerers gain plus four move until the end of turn. I need to check out what mid-tier, high-tier, low-tier spells are. I, I don't know. I don't really have a. So it's between these two for sure. He's already he's moving by four tiles, minus one, but eight power. That's. I mean, yeah, adjusting enemies, but that's very situational. I, I, especially against these guys right now, it's very, it's very, very likely that we're not gonna do that. Um, actually, no, probably we are, but still, I think the Heaver Blade is... No, I'm gonna go for the Stomp. I, I, I feel like the Stomp overall is just better. Uh, I don't like minus one move here, but I do like the eight power, but I think I'll take the Stomp over it. Oh, it's such a... Yeah, go ahead. I wish I could take both, but that's not gonna happen. Now we can move them around before the next wave. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think I'm just going to move him down here. I think I'm okay with where we are standing. If if they spawn down here, we are pretty, you know, we are in a line where we can just smash them up. And if they're spawning up here, good, very good. So my only worry is that we're going to have a wave where they're going to come near us. And that that's going to be a, a very interesting one. So we are not really spread out, but um, let's see if we can handle it. I don't think I want to do anything else here. I think we're good. What, okay, it actually got 10 armor, this barrel. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure why. I guess I have a modifier on someone. Uh, that's giving... There, maybe this one? For each barricade? No, that's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. End turn. So right next to our tower here is someone spawning. And also over here, which is a little bit worrying. And up here. Okay. So we can move around now if we want to. See... I think she can hit pretty much everyone, except from that dude up there. So that's fine. She, we can kill one, probably, or well, likely. This one is going to be annoying, because he's right next to our tower. This one is not right next to our tower, because it's 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 like... They need to be here, or here, or here, to actually do the damage, I think. At least that is how I understand it, with a Jestant. But uh, this one is going to do damage to our tower, for sure. Yeah. But I don't really see his move. If anyone, I'm probably going to move him away from this area up here so he can help out killing this one quickly so it doesn't have so it doesn't move but then again then again that means that means he's gonna take damage from it the barrel oh nah the barrel is not really help us, uh, helping us much out here but maybe this dude is gonna go for the barrel which could be helpful you know what I am gonna move him up in this general direction um, because he can he can handle himself can't he and I don't really need the buff on her anyway, so it's okay. Just move up here. Wait here. You, I actually want you to basically stay where you are because you have you have a bit of range, don't you? You have full range. So you can you can also maybe hit over here. One, two, three. Uh, not really, but you can move once and then shoot if needed. So you know what? Just 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 stay there. And uh, the rogue. I think I want the rogue next to her because actually, is that trap? Uh, I'm not sure if that trap is used. It wasn't. It wasn't used. So he doesn't need to stand on it to rearm it. Uh, I don't really... I think we need to see what comes here. And then we can maybe use some more things. It depends. So... That instantly died and actually did damage to a couple of our units. This one is a 10. Okay. So we, th this tower actually killed this one. That's pretty good. And we got some small units over here and the big unit here. Um, this 10. So our towers are doing direct damage when we end turn here and when they start getting summoned. I actually didn't know. I think I think using her to kill this one over here is actually a good deal. Because otherwise we would need to get close to it. I am a little bit worried that my... Because I don't really see... What is it saying? To adjacent units. But this one down here looked like he actually also did damage to my rogue. Is there a combat lock? There is. Uh, your kin, young kin loses six health, but it doesn't say. Uh, this is for health. Arcane tower trigger. Um, it doesn't say something about the damage we were dealt. So maybe we didn't take any damage. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we don't take damage from them. I just, I just expected that to happen, but I'm not sure. So let's just better safe than sorry here. Um, <laughs> until we actually find out. I think she's just gonna kill this one, and let's see what happens. Nothing. Because there was no adjacent enemies, I'm presuming. Well, I, I, I don't exactly know. 
if that's the case. But you know what? I think I think we can um, presume that is the case that we won't take damage. It's only the enemies taking damage by each other. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that logic right now. Stomped. What? What happened there? And we like did we reset? Oh, it's going the other way, isn't it? No, player ends turn. No. Why does it not show this combat? Hmm, interesting. Um, let's see here. What can we do? I think we're gonna let them get a bit closer because they are moving with oh five speed, so they're getting really close. Well, they are actually gonna hit my tower. In that case, I might as well just kill them and see what happens. Because he can take a hit as well. I'd rather him taking a hit on his armor than this dude actually losing health. Sure. Nope, we didn't. Okay, so that means it's only against their own units. They're actually gonna do... No, it just dies. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Ah, I need to get out of there. Okay, so the small ones here doesn't do damage. The small ones doesn't do any damage. Okay, that's what got me. That's what got me. We do not have enough range for that. I think, I have a feeling that this unit is actually, yeah, he's going to kill this unit and give myself some damage. But he do have the armor to take it, so it's not too bad. This one is going to um, probably do damage to my rogue as well. So we're going to lose a bit of armor here. I'm okay with that. That's fine. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, leg kick, gain five power when attacking an armored enemy. Okay. The rogue has plus five power against enemies that are missing health. Ooh. See, I think... Do, don't we already have one of these? I'm not sure. Maybe they can actually multiply. Or maybe we can get more of those. But maybe I didn't take it. I don't know. The starter again, plus three. Somewhere. These are not the best, <laughs> I think. Uh, and I think the, the, the blue ones here are probably the basic. They're probably the basic. And then we have seen orange and also some reds. And they're definitely better. Um, so yeah, she's going to gain plus three temporary power and plus one temporary range at the start of that next turn whenever they take armor damage. That's not the one. Um, I think leg power, maybe. There is a lot of people that do have armor, but it's not very often. The rogue has plus five against it without missing health. I think that's the best one. I think that's just the best one. Because usually they, they uh, well, very often they have lost. Okay, only three spawn points. And it's, uh, okay, we're going to move away. We're going to move away. Um, yeah, he's gonna move down here. He, yeah, wait there. And you are gonna move very close to, actually just in here, I think. Actually down here. Or maybe even down here, actually. No, just here. Yeah, just here. Wait there. You are gonna move right next to the rogue. To get the buff. Wait there. You are gonna move away, I guess. Well, actually, you can get armor from him, so maybe just up here. Also gain a little bit of range toward this dude. I'm okay with that. Let's see what we are up against. That's a very big unit. Uh, so let's see what they do. They do 10 damage to adjustant. This does 5, and this one probably does 10 as well. Okay. Why is, th why is this one bigger than the other one? Or maybe just... It's probably just how they are, you know, standing. Okay, well... Um, she can actually... Can she actually... If he moves up on the traps, you can actually hit this dude from here. That's insane. How, how much do they move with? Three moves, so he's, he's not going to get to us. Three moves and three moves. Yeah, perfect. So we can definitely do some damage on range here before they're getting to us. Let's just do that. And one, one two, three. And then we can do a bit of hits with the towers. And But it's not going to be nice. It's not... Hopefully, uh, it's only going to be the barrel taking the damage, but yeah, we, we'll see about that. This dude, don't know yet what we're going to do with him, but yeah. He, he's probably going to move this direction as well, down to these three, instead of over here. But yeah, I think that's about it, what we're going to do here. I'm not going to move anyone around, I'm just going to wait it out. Okay, they are all moving in that direction. That's not exactly nice. But at least we can still hit him from here. If we're moving one up, and I think we will. We could also start on this big dude. Actually, he's... The, you know what? This could be pretty good. Because he's next turn getting up to this one and hits that. But he's not going to be standing next to this dude. And then he's going to do damage to the other ones. So let's move up and hit him. And then... We're going to take you and move you up here. Because then you're still standing next to... And we are closer to these units if we really need to get into it. But I don't really want to. 
to get up there, still buffing my sorcerer, which is nice. And uh, yeah, you're not really gonna help this turn. You can also do 17 damage, you know one? Oh, sorry, four damage. Could you hit one of the other? Nope, just do damage to that one. You are just gonna stand there. Because I think they're gonna go for my um, barrel. I could be mistaken. One, two, three. See, he can't get to any of our units. So he's probably gonna go for the barrel. And the other units are not likely to get to my... I, they can't. I think it's good. I think it's good. There we go. Barrel gone. And then they are... Okay, he, he got to us. Okay, but that's fine. My towers didn't go for the target that I wanted them to, but it's okay. It's okay. Now, this dude is going to do damage to mine, but I am I should probably just move out of the way, to be honest. Instead of hitting him. Because he's going to die anyway. Because I killed this one. With the... Um, well, with something. So... My only worry right now is that is the one on the other side. Actually, I could go over there and hit him. That would actually kill him. But not kill... Yeah, that's perfect. Go up here. Do that. Also doing 15 damage because of adjacent things. Um, modifiers. And then... Well, we don't kill her. We don't kill them with uh, one hit here from the sorcerer. But this guy can actually hit this guy in the mid as well. And do the amount of damage we need to kill all three. Uh, Ecto. Good night. Well, we did do damage to our knight, but our uh, paladin. Sorry, no, but he's a warrior. For fuck's sake. But uh, yeah, not 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 that great because I forgot about when it also. I, I didn't actually expect. Yeah, that was a little bit stupid. I could just have killed the two of them and then next turn have killed the next one. So kind of a mistake. Do we get anything good here? Standing next to the barricade gives the warrior plus one range. Eh. The rogue against uh, gains one temporary armor every square they move. Decent. Absorb. The sorcerers gain plus five temporary armor when they destroy an enemy. Uh, well, she is kind of our killer, right? Uh, how did he get 19 all of a sudden? He got a lot of good modifiers, man. Um, I kind of want this, but it's, it's, it's not bad getting the armor. But I think like th this one just overall might be better. Yeah, let's take the absorb instead. Take the absorb. Uh, we can't really move too much around here. I wish I could get him down here again, but yeah, that's not the case. Let's just end the turn and see where the summonings are gonna be. Right next to him. And we also got a couple of summons here and one here and a lot. Probably some of them are gonna be small ones. Some of them are gonna be big. Don't know where they're gonna be. Um, He got eight armor again. He got 10. You know what? I'm a little bit worried about this one down here. I think I'm gonna move both my... Both my how far can you go, actually? How far can you go? I also need to worry about my tower here because of this one. And also the, the rest of them coming down towards here. Um, Yeah, I'm going to move here. I don't really need to move her, but I want to move her because she's kind of in a line of fire when these come out and maybe can reach her. So I want to go down here and probably kill this unit. I'm, I, you know, it, it's like you don't know what you get. Um, I want him to stand... Well, he gets armor when he's moving, so I don't mind moving him around a lot. He can actually already reach, but I want her, I want the, um, I want the buff here, of course, to happen. So I'm, I just move you one down here, and maybe this guy's gonna go into this trap instead of going over here. I don't know if we don't kill him in the first turn. I think, I think the, um, yeah, wait there, and I think this dude is gonna go down here and help out with this one. No, actually, they, they might kill it. They might kill it here. And not take any damage. So you know what? Just stay up here. She's, he's a little bit on... You know... I might need to run with him. <laughs> or use a barrel to get out of trouble. But I think I'm okay with this. I'm okay. We are kind of spread out. Which is actually good against these guys. If we can manage to kill them fast enough before the next one comes in. Okay. Okay, they killed this one over here. Which is great. What the hell? Okay, that's a big one. Great father. So like an elite. And he can, whenever an ally dies, gain plus one move and plus two power. Increase move equal to charges. Gain power equal to charges. We need to kill him fast. We need to kill him before anything else. That is not important. He is six, six. Okay, so that's, that, that is our, um, this, this guy, this guy is what we need to deal with. Um, the rest of them, well, yeah doesn't really matter too much i think uh, gaining a temporary move for this dude could make him get 
almost down there, couldn't he? If I move the rook, I think it is. I, I need to take out this guy really quickly. Somehow. I think I can move the rook in here. And that makes sure that this guy could actually maybe move down and actually do a hit. Or maybe I'm mistaken, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, I could also move it up here and do one damage. I think. How many moves does he have? Two. So I can only move once and then do a hit. Otherwise, I've used all the, you know, actions or whatever you want to call it. <sighs> but right now we are not... I mean, I should probably move my rogue over here so he's going to hit him instead the first time and also do a hit. I'm going to actually take out 10 of his armor by doing it. I think we um, I think we need to do a mighty blow here. Also, he will gain a bit of armor, which probably will be helpful. Get over here. And I also want you to move over here because you you gain you gain you gain something from the assassin when you stand next to him and we can still hit him while we do it so that's down to 40 health but that's not i mean the tower is going to help in the next turn but we're going to take 10 damage on our armor for sure so that's okay i'm okay with that uh, i'm more worried about all these coming down here and actually killing this guy <laughs> and this dude uh, well it's, it's the same it's the same problem here isn't it <laughs> I don't know, barrel? Nah, I don't really want to use a barrel. But then again, see, the barrel is it's not good against bosses because they, they just ignore them. So the barrels are good against something like this where there are just a lot of units. We can, and we can get them all to get like towards this one. If we just build it like uh, maybe here, actually. Because when they get into range of it, they will attack this one instead of going for my tower. I think here, they will more than likely go for my barrel and we will have them queue up on this spot and this spot and this spot and kill each other oh no they don't explode do they no they don't explode these no they just die but this will make them go in range of this tower won't they no it won't and he's probably going to move down here and attack so if we do that it's a little bit wasteful you know what i'm going to make another trap right here go ahead because that me that makes it go in range and that means we can at least kill one unit in this that way so that's fine. I'm okay with that. And I think we can end it here. Wait, no, we can't. We, we need to move. I think I'm going to move the rook over here. So I make a little bit room for my knight. Sorry, it's not a knight. It's a, it's a warrior. Do the damage. Move him. He got four moves here. Five, six. So he can't even get down there if I do make him get the bolt of speed. I could give him two. I could give him two. Um, I'm not even sure if I can give him two directly. Let, I know I'm gonna use it anyway, so well, let's see. Well, that worked. There we go. Get down here, do some damage. Yeah. And he's down to 20. And um, I don't care if he hits. Uh, well, actually, I would rather have him hit my, uh, my rogue because he got more armor, but it's okay if he hits my, we're only gonna lose two health. It's, it's not the worst situation in the world. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he went. Okay, he'll kill him for that. Oh, okay. He could actually go all the way down there, and, and they are moving. And they do three down there. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess that was all right. I guess that was all right actually, because we can now kill them. It's not perfect because we did take a lot of damage on some of our units. Like we lost five in total or something like that. I think. Maybe this one also lost a bit of damage. Maybe six or seven health. Maybe I don't know. So he got 30, 30 left. So we need to use most of our damage. That means this guy, but he's going to go into a trap. So it doesn't matter. Um, do the 15 here. Another 10. Oh, it's actually killing it. How? Because of some kind of modifier. And it's also giving a buff to my... We got so many modifiers. It's hard to, you know, keep up with them. Hard to keep up with them. But that's nice. This guy, well... I mean, actually stand here instead. Wait. And yeah, my tower is going to take care of that. Good night. Um, I think it would be good to go over here with the assassin to reactivate these. That would make a lot of sense, right? Stand there. You also move over here so you're staying close to the assassin. Sorry, rogue. Assassin, rogue, whatever. <laughs> Sorry that I... Use the wrong term. Oh, we got this one up here. Well, he's gonna be gone in next turn, doesn't he? After three, yeah, he's gonna be gone in next turn. We can't, we can't, we don't have enough. We don't have enough moves to get up there, and it would be nice to get the twenty-five gold, and but it's just too far away. 
So I think just moving over here with the knight is uh, the best we can do. End turn. Yeah, there we go. It's gone. And let's see. Good offense. The warrior gains plus two temporary power for every square they move. I mean, he's moving around a lot, so it, it, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind that one. Overconfidence, plus 8 power. Lose this effect when the rogue takes damage. Resets each battle. I, I mean, it's okay, but it's not great. Retribution, uh, whenever they take armor damage. Okay, eh. I think I think good off offense is probably the way to go here. Okay, only we are in ray 4, and they, they, they are going to be some big units here. Definitely big units. Um... So we, re we already reactivated this one. You know what? I'm okay with move. I don't see. I, I kind of want to reactivate this one, but I don't want to do the damage, but I'm actually going to go down and reactivate it because that means this dude is going to go into here if I just stand here and that makes sure that we can do damage with the tower on the trap as well. So that makes a lot of sense to do. Well, that means she's kind of out of the loop here, but I guess you can just stand here and do damage to both units. Um, let's, Maybe I should move the rook. Uh, they are probably going to go for my tower then. Uh, should we do it like that? I'm a little bit worried about this one. Actually, I'm, wor I'm really worried because they are so close to me here, both of them. Not making up for a lot of room to do. Because he's, this guy is either going to go for the tower or the rook right now. Unless he got some kind of modifier. But um, so far, in all these guys don't have anything specific they're going for. So they're just going for the lowest target closest to them or the closest target to move to and the right now that's probably either the uh, one one of these so and i think it would be better if this dude takes the damage could you please so i'm just moving in front of the rook and also move because she can still hit she can still hit over there she got so much range yeah do that and she can still hit over here if i stand here i think and she won't take any damage in uh, in this spot either if this guy explodes, which there is a likelihood he would. Okay, do that. Uh, the, again, I don't know if this is the right move. Uh, I, I have absolutely no idea. Okay. Well, we killed one of the small guys that summoned with this one, which is a great mother. Great mother, at the end of your turn, restore five health to all allies and summoned and summon two small and close as possible tiles. Right, so she, we want to kill her because she's going to do a lot of damage with all these summonings and stuff. Uh, elite. Yeah, so she's immune to stuff. This dude. Yeah, he, he is uh, whenever an ally dies. So, oh man, this is tough. Because he's going to gain more and more power the more that dies. Okay. I'm not sure which one is the right cor uh, correct answer to go for here. But it's pretty easy to kill this one. He only got 35. She's ranged. She's close to my towers. I think we're gonna focus this guy with my. Um, I think we're gonna focus down here. She actually do need to do a move. Um, this is not a great situation. I don't think I need to kill these summonings because she would just summon more, and I can't kill her. I don't think twenty-three plus ten plus. Actually, I can. I could kill her. You know what? That's probably the best thing we can do here because we can stun him in the next turn. This guy. Yeah, go ahead. Do the damage. Kill her off. Oh, we don't. I probably need to do that. Uh, this is not great. He, he's, she's gonna take three damage. This was probably a mistake to do. Um, this guy, you need to move out of the way and let the... Wait, is that not... Did that not work? Did he not uh, activate that? Oh, he did. Okay, good. So just wait there. Um, Right. So she's gonna, still going to summon one more, which is okay, I guess. It's just annoying that she's going to do six yeah. damage as well to my armor. But whatever. Let's do that. And I guess we... I don't really want to use anything here. Or any more, I guess. No, I think we're good. He's going to get stunned. Unless he's going for my... I don't, I don't know. I, it would make no sense if he's not going for my rogue. Um, This dude is going to do three damage to there. And yeah, okay. Let's see. So, oh, okay. I guess I guess I understand that logic. So he, so this summoner didn't hit my warrior, and and I guess the summoning here didn't do either. Kind of odd, I would say. Kind of an odd situation. 
And now we got these two summonings who is going to do five damage to one of my towers, which is... Oh, they already did. I think they already did damage. Hmm. Well, uh, just, they are both going to die if I do that. That is pretty good deal for me. I'm, I'm going to take that deal. Good night. You can start hitting this one from range, which is fine. Um, that's okay. You probably need to take this first hit. 18 damage. Well, there we go. That's a lot, but uh, I don't really see us. I mean, I could take... Yeah, this one actually is making a lot of sense. Because I'll, I'll take a lot less damage and do more damage. I can almost... Did you already hit it? Okay, I guess it did. Uh, you can move over here and actually also do more damage. I'm not sure if that is needed, but let's just do it. Okay. We're going to take three damage, but that's okay because we can kill him now. Did you not hit him? Oh, the armor. Yeah, he's gaining armor every turn. So, you, yeah, you're dead. Good night. Do we want to move anyone? No. no we're gonna kill it. Just kill it. Oh, we got this one over here again. It's going to disappear again right now, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to move my warrior up here just to be close to the... I don't know. Amy? Yeah, just move up here. Wait there. You move... Actually, you move down here. Wait there. Okay, end turn. There we go. Okay, moving on. Strip down. Minus two armor, plus one move. No, thank you. The rogue has plus five power against enemies that are missing health. So more power again. So he's going to do a lot of damage to someone who is already hurt. He's going to be insane against uh, boss fights if we take that. Storm Blast. The first time the sorcerer kills three enemies in a battle, deal 20 damage to all enemies. It's, I mean, it's not great against bosses. I think, I think I'm going to go take the... I mean, it's great, but... And it's going to be there for the entirety of our run. Yeah, it, again, it's an orange one. And yeah, I can, I can... She's already doing a good amount of damage, but you know... I don't know, but I'm going to take it just because it's kind of nice if it happens. <laughs> it could definitely turn around an entire battle. Boss fight. He's coming from up here. That is pretty decent to me. I'm going to move the rogue over here, I think. Actually, move move this guy out of the way first. And uh, wait there. And oh, okay. She can he can still not get over here. Fair enough. Um but he's probably gonna summon a lot of stuff as well. It's my I mean I, pres I presume that. Wait there, you move here, I think, sure. Wait, you move here. Just so I get buffs on my... Because I, I, there is a good chance that I don't move too much around in this fight. And wait for her, for this guy to come closer and do a couple of hits with the um, with my sorcerer first. Let's find out. Okay, what is this? Rock Seed. Immune to player damage. At the start of your next turn, spawn the fungal rook in the middle nine tiles. And remove this unit. What? At the start of your next turn, spawn the fungal rook in the middle nine tiles. Well, we are not in the middle nine tiles, are we? So that should be good. And he can take damage anyway. Immune to dam player damage. Yeah, I'm confused. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. Um, I'm gonna move her down here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, insanely defensive here. Move him in here. That is all of our health units in front. These two towers, I mean, if they're getting killed, they are getting killed. So be it. Wait, and turn and see what happens. Oh my god. Well, at least they can hit him. Uh, this guy can't hit him. But what? okay, what? So he's doing a cone effect. It seems like he's doing, he can only hit whether it's red. At least that is what I'm presuming. At the start... At the start, you're... T what? At the start, you're of... That makes no sense. At the start, you are of turn, attack nine tiles in a square, altering each round. Okay, that is not great for us. So we need to be on the half spaces, I guess. Which is not great in this scenario, because there's just a rock here. So basically need to move these two units over here. And alter between that two sections, or these three sections. And that, that works out for me, but my towers are going to get completely wrecked. Well, that's okay. I mean, if, if I can just survive with my units, that's okay. Um, but they can't do damage every single turn. Only my sorcerer can do damage every single turn. The other ones, 
not so much because otherwise they would take damage and we don't want that okay what else um altering each round adjacent and diagonal areas the summon four boring randomly in the turn okay so he's all even gonna spawn units that is what these units are probably gonna handle and my sorcerer is probably gonna handle the boss but i'm not sure yet uh, of course, immune systems and all that. So yeah, and we can use the barricades to the summoning, the, the small summoning sporing, the spallings, and they're probably not going to be big ones. They're just going to be, and we got more freezing traps to protect this tower down here. Um, maybe. Uh, actually, these towers are actually worth more now because they can actually shoot him. So this this one can't. They can only shoot the spallings. So yeah, okay, inter very very interesting. We also got the earthquake. Bolt of speed might come in play. So what we need to do now is, is get out of the way. We could also just go in and do damage. Wait, where is he hitting? Yeah, we can't see. We can't hit with them because there are no tiles where we can actually hit him. And also not take damage. But we could we could we could take damage this turn and then make sure we don't take damage next turn. Because we do have the armor to, to deal with here. But I I I'll rather play it safe here and not take any damage. Wait over here. Wait over here. And you, you can do... Okay, you need to move in there to do the damage. That's annoying. Uh, Rook, you could move up to this tile. Move up here. Do the damage. That means she can move up here and do the damage. That's a way better way to do it. Uh, but we, we don't know where the summonings are going to come. They could come right next to the Rook. That would be annoying. But at least we got a trap under him. So, you know, we can just move out of there, hopefully. So this round we shouldn't take any damage so that should be good i like these mechanics i like these tactical so far this game has been great for me i mean it, it, it is it going to be the same every single time we are running maybe i don't know but this just the first run here has been absolutely brilliant so that's pretty good for us that all the fungus is coming out nowhere near us so now He's going to do damage to those tiles. Right, so we need to move the Rook out of the way and the Sorcerer, and also these guys can do damage. Okay, yeah. We're not going to go for the Fungus. We, we, we are just going to ignore them. We're going to do damage to him. So move over here. Do damage. Move over here. Do damage. Move over here and do damage. What? Oh, there we go. Um, Just a little bit fiddle with the... Move over here and do damage. Please. There we go. Good. And my towers are going to take the damage. 10 each. Can't do anything about it. Can't do anything about it. It is what it is. But other than that, it looks okay. And then next turn, we are probably going to have to deal with some of the fungus and stuff like that. But other than that, it seems pretty good. That's one tower gone. The other tower almost gone. This, might, this one might get something out of it we might get something out of this tower but yeah you know it is the last boss fight here so it's okay mm, i think i think this guy is also gonna do damage to these so it might be i don't think i need to hit them actually because two of these i think they might be dead anyway that is my thinking at least let's see what it actually says at the start of your turn attack nine tiles in a square altering each round I think he is gonna take. I think he is gonna do damage to these. I can't be sure, but in any case, I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and do damage to them. Um, but just in case, I'm gonna move the rook down here, so we do have the trap. And we're gonna move you down here and do the damage. You just move over here. Yes. Wait. And I mean, you could you could take a hit. I mean, we could do some damage here. I mean, both of them could actually take a hit. But you know what? I'll, ra I'll rather have my armor for later. Right now. So just wait over here and, and, and wait it out. I also want to see what happens with these fours here that is in, in the tiles he's going to do damage to. That's going to be interesting. I, I think that's going to be very interesting. That's a 90 health. In turn. I mean, maybe... A nah. The rook can take some damage here. It doesn't matter. In turn. Oh... Okay, he didn't do damage to the um, spores. That is going to be a problem in the long run. Yeah. Well done, tower. Well done. Well done. That was a good use of that tower. Uh, so now he's going to do damage to these tiles. Right, so my tower is also gone. Both my... All my towers are gone. Okay. 
Okay. I, I, I'm still gonna ignore the spores. I can take the damage. I'd rather do main damage to him and get this fight over with quicker. Move over here, do the damage. Yes. Move over here, do the damage. Move over... Where can you move to? You can move over here, actually. Move over here and do the damage. Move over here and do the damage. Down to 29. I could have used some of the... Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna do the earthquake here because I don't really want to take these hits from these guys. Necessarily. Barricade would also be pretty decent, actually. Yeah, I think right here because this is where... More than likely I'm gonna get most hits from. But I don't know because I don't know where... But I'm gonna do that. And also get a bit of armor on him. Okay, cool. Uh, what else? A trap? Why can I not do that trap? Interesting. In turn. Tower gone. Oh, that's good. So my... Uh, get a lot out of that barrel. <laughs> that's pretty good. So they die when they hit someone. Which is kind of, you know, just let them do it then. Yeah, die upon attacking. So I, yeah, I'm definitely gonna, not gonna hit them. We're just gonna move out of his attacks. He move here. Because otherwise we will get hit by one of the... Yeah, okay, good. Do the attack. Actually, do we kill him? I don't know, but we... Oh, he can... Okay, he can get over here. So that's fine. That's fine. Uh, you're kind of in the way, but whatever. Uh, well, we actually just kill him. Don't really... Okay, I didn't meant to do that, but... We did. <laughs> Went the wrong way around to kill him, but yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. There we go. And we get, of course, an upgrade. Swallow cut. After your attack, if the enemy has less health than three times your armor, they are destroyed. Whoa, that's that's insane. Three times my armor. Often I have 11 armor. So that's like 33 damage. If you got less than 33 armor or 33 health, they just instantly die. That's insane. Leftover surprise. When the rogue kills an enemy... It drops a temporary trap. That trap deals three damage when triggered and is destroyed upon triggering. Okay. Uh, vengeance cast. Once per battle, when the sorceress takes health damage, cast your high tier spell for free. Okay. I mean, uh, again, high tier spells. I'm presuming that there's something that costs... I, yeah, I don't know. I, I just think the swallow card is... It, that sounds absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. I'm going to go with that. Victory! Magister, you cannot be foolish as... To support the Golden Queen in her conquest. How is she controlling you? It's the fungus. The Shroom King is talking to us. Jesus. Stop spouting nonsense. You speak of her conquest. Yet what of yours? You're the ones who spread this occupied lands. Ah, then you were deceived. Oh, noble mage. We do not spread. You take from us our body. Our soil will be stained in gold and our gems beneath us will be hers. Gems? She has plenty of gems of her own. Why would, why wouldn't she know? What? Well, that's a very strange way to sentence that, but okay. <laughs> a queen with the gems to achieve anything she desires. A dangerous burning light. All will wither. All will... Something, I guess. My rook, my heroes, my power used to butcher. Butcher? 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 Used to butcher. The queen which dealt our end. It, this RPG is very strange. I, don't, I, I have no idea what they are talking about. We ask you, with your power, stop her. Okay, so he's, he's trying to sway us. That's basically what is happening here, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> That's treacherous scum. Oh, wow. Okay, she dares to insult me like this. She. So the mushroom, the mushroom king was a she. I'm so confused. Or, or is, am I speaking about the queen now? I'm probably speaking about the queen, actually. My noble magic used for evil ends. I will make her pay. The queen shall fall. Oh, okay, okay, we turn around. Okay, here we go. RPG turn around. <laughs> Role playing turn around. There we go. Okay, okay. I, I was just a bit confusing, a little bit, uh, the way it was uh, written. But I, I get it. I get the point that we are, you know, and that is also what I was seeing in one review about the game that we were actually against the queen, and that's. Why well, I was a bit confused when I was reading this that we were basically helping the queen, but that there we go. There was a you know you know a twist to the uh, story here. Uh, the desert. That's gonna be the next time. Interesting. Uh, hopefully we can get through it. I, I have a feeling this fiver is gonna be a little bit more tough, but so far we haven't lost too much health. We we are nowhere near getting killed. Uh, any of our units getting killed this time around. Our you know towers got killed, but that's not you know. 
they don't have that much health anyway. But we can protect our units a little bit better because they can move compared to the towers. So uh, yeah, but uh, it's going to be interesting. I love it so far. I really love the game so far. It's, um, it's, it's really good. It's just really good. I just love the tactical aspects. And I mean, the one thing that I'm a little bit, you know, and that's just because I can't remember them all at, at once, is the modifiers that all uh, our dudes get. And they, uh, they are getting a lot of modifiers, man. And it's hard to keep track of it um, in your head. But, I mean, that is just... I mean, the further, the more you play this game, the better you probably will be at keeping track of those and remember them. But that's probably the only thing I'm a little bit... Oh, that's annoying. I can't remember them. But that's just me, you know. Other people might remember all the modifiers they're going to take and, and play really well into it. But that that is also something that I, where I can see this game being really good because there is kind of a complex system to what you take and what you get um, to where it can go really naughty really naughty insane with the uh, kind of uh, possibilities of how much damage health armor you know all that kind of movement and all that kind of stuff so it, it, yeah great great stuff man great stuff anyway guys i'll see you around next time for the desert see ya folks